Hello, welcome back to Little Kodaks. Today we are going to be taking one of my Kodak Instamatic 500s and we are going to replace this um, fake leather um, uh, accent pieces um, on the uh, on the back and the front of uh, well, one of our cameras. I actually have two of the uh, Kodak Instamatic 500s. This one has a, a black print. And this one has kind of a, uh, a gold print on the top. So you can see the difference there of uh, those two. Uh, as far as I can tell, everything else is identical on these um, two cameras. The lettering in the lens is a little bit of a different color, it's a little more yellow on this one, but I don't know if that has to, anything to do with um, the age of the camera. Um, other than that, these guys are um, pretty identical. Uh, this one works great. This guy, um, something in the shutter is kind of gumming it up so it works in slow motion. So not too great for taking photos. Anyways, um, put this guy aside for now. And this is the guy that we are gonna be doing some surgery on today. All right, let me get my tools and I'll be right back. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is Take my razor and we'll find one of these corners and we'll pull these pieces off and then we'll use them as templates for our new piece of um, uh, vinyl leather looking uh, stuff that we'll put on the front of those. Okay, well, we'll start on the back here. And underneath, you'll actually see the screws um, that you would do to, uh, in this particular case, it would remove this backside of the door here. All right, let's move on to, uh, to this bigger piece here. Just trying to get it carefully as I can under the corner here. And since these are pretty old, the glue for them comes off pretty easily. You can see this is uh, really, really worn out, almost worn all the way through. All right, so there is our second piece off. I'll put it up here so you can see. I know what I'm going to be doing there. And I'll probably clean this before uh, before we apply our new piece on there. All right, let's move on to the front. And this has two pieces here. They're separated here in the middle by a little piece of plastic. Um, that's part of this frame. So I'll start on this one here. Let's see, get under the corner here. that and comes right off there's that piece underneath here you can see there's another little screw to uh, help take the camera apart there's another one here and you kind of see a little bit of the inner workings there of the uh, of the camera okay let's get the last piece off and and we'll uh, mark our new plastic and uh, we'll get it applied. Just find the edge here. There we 
go. And you can see this comes off so easily. It's just ready to come off. And that's what that guy looks like. All right, so, um, see if there's another screw down in there, a little corrosion on there. Um, what I'll do is I will go ahead and get um, these surfaces cleaned off and then we'll get our new uh, our new material on we'll make this guy look brand new all right I will be back after I clean this up and we'll get working on uh, the next part of this project All right, so what I really wanted to do was try to get as much of that um, glue residue off um, and any loose um, glue. So anything that's left on there is on there pretty good. Um, the back actually um, has a piece of metal and it's used to um, secure all of these little um, connectors. These are little springs to push the film down tight against the, uh, the uh, opening back here. And um, so that's what this is. That's inset into, uh, into the plastic door there. All right, so we got uh, our camera prepped here. Um, I'm probably gonna go get a little bit of sandpaper so I can hit these just a little bit to get them um, a little bit uh, roughed up so that when we apply our new uh, material, uh, it will stay on there pretty good. All right, we'll be back in, uh, in just a sec. Okay, so I got some little tiny bits of um, Sandpaper, this is uh, 220 grain, if you're wondering. Try to not get any of the bits that are um, not gonna be covered up. And then after I sand this, I'm gonna hit it with the alcohol again and the paper towel. Get anything that I may have loosened up. And then this will be ready to have the new surfaces applied.
I'll call again. Is there anything that we just loosened up? Just here. Get any extra dust off of there. All right, I'll do the same thing with the pieces here in the back. What we're going to apply here. this one more time with some alcohol just to get anything else that I may have loosened up off. for the installation of our new pieces. So I'm gonna set this guy aside and we are going to cut out our um, new, uh, new plate covers. Hey guys, so we are back with our new um, plastic leather. We are going to be applying, you can see this guy is uh, Pretty threadbare there um, due to the backing. That is the back pieces that we're going to replace. And then these are the two um, front pieces that we're going to replace. Um, the front might be a little bit tricky. The back, I think what we're going to do is put them on there and then kind of uh, mark a groove and um, Cut it out with the razor. So we'll get it uh, rough sized in there. So put this guy here. All right. And we'll probably take a little bit off the end here. actually a, a, a sticker that has the three-dimensional leather look on it, the grain of the leather. So we'll get this guy put on here. Okay, 
Look at that. in the grooves there. Here. Just use my fingernail just to kind of squish it in there. What I can probably do take this little toothpick and really get it right into where it needs to go. Take our little razor, cut this middle guy out. I'm very careful so I don't have to do it a bunch of times. There we go. And the window. So let's do the outside now. Just run the toothpick over it one more time. Get that nice and tight in there. Really know where we need to cut. Go the other way.
All right, now we'll take a razor and we'll get this next part sliced out. Check that out. All nice and fresh and new. All right, let's get this little guy done. Should be pretty quick and painless. Get out here. Okay, we'll get this last piece, or the second piece, I should say, put on. Get our little sticker off. second piece and there's our new uh, new backing here for this guy there's a the front and there's the back let me show you what it looks like compared to another one Probably not as thick, but definitely is a good replacement. All right, let's uh, work on these front guys. They are gonna be a little bit trickier because they have pretty unique shape and we have this big lens to compete with. So what we can probably do is Get it pretty close and then we can rough it in on the camera. With the razor. Probably if I get the top piece. And we just have to worry about the bottom piece. So maybe we'll just slice this curve. It's gonna be the trickiest part.
gives us our curve. And it's just about the right size. So we should just have to worry about this bottom and the right hand side. Let's give it a shot. piece. So we got the back, the right side of the camera. All right, one left. This one has a little um, piece that comes out here, the PC socket for the flash. So let's move whatever we can out of the way. All right, here's what that guy looks like. Funky. All right. Let's move that out of the way and get a piece started that'll be close to that. Let me get a little. Alright, let's get this guy trimmed up close. That's pretty close. We can get it in there and then we'll do some trimming. Alright. 
Got a razor in here. surgery in here. Instamatic 500, all fixed up with our brand new um, grip uh, pieces. I don't even know what you'd call that. I guess it's a uh, there. You go. And again, this is the. Uh, Kodak Instamatic 500. We replaced all of these leather, um, leather, um, I guess they're the grips on the camera. They were all worn out and uh, kind of sticky, threadbare. They were just not looking that great. So now we have brand new grips on the front and the back of the camera. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It helps our channel out a lot. Until next time, have a great day.